Hello everyone. Welcome to uh, Evening Routine Basic Skincare. My name is Amy. I have been a Sunagents distributor for about nine months. I actually started in a skin school um, at the end of January and I could not believe the difference in my skin in just the three days um, that I had taken this uh, the, use the samples and take in the skincare class. Hi, Diane. So um, it was actually free distributor sign up month. So I signed up because I just wanted to buy everything. And I did not plan on um, selling at the time. Um, but I just loved it all so much. I decided to share it with my family and friends who also love it as well. Um, so I started out in one of these skincare classes. And I agree with what Diane said this morning. I um, learn something new in every single one. So a little bit different with the evening routine is the first thing you want to do is take your makeup off. Um, so I have our makeup on, which is smudge proof, budge proof, waterproof. I have um, stuff in my brows, all over my face, and uh, blush, mascara, everything. So we have multiple options to take off your makeup. We have the Foops Wipes uh, Remover. We have... Um, the liquid Foops remover. We have the Oops remover for the lip scents. We have a new melt away cleansing balm, which is awesome. It melts everything off your face, including the waterproof mascara, lip scents, everything. But my absolute favorite uh, way to take off our makeup is with the Shea Butter Body Cream. Um, I prefer this over the melt away balm just because I don't get it in my eyes as much. Um, the melt away balm is a little bit thinner and it, you can definitely do it without getting your eyes. I'm just always going so fast um, that I tend to use this a little bit more. But the melt away balm, yes, Brittany, I agree. It is awesome. It melts everything off your face, including the waterproof mascara. Uh, the body cream that I'm using. Uh, I bought this when I started and I use it to take off my makeup almost every day. And I don't know if you can see because it's white, but I'm not, I don't know when I'll ever run, run out of it. It just, that is one great thing about these products is they last so long. Um, so I'm just going to rub this all over my face. If you think you are taking your makeup off by cleansing your face, um, you're actually just rubbing dirt all over your face. So if you are using a cleanser to remove your makeup, you want to actually wash twice. The first time will remove your makeup and the second time will allow the cleanser to do what it actually is meant to do. So my lighting in here isn't great. So it's just kind of melting off all of my CCTM our color corrected tinted moisturizer uh, that Diane put on this morning. So I'm just going to rub this really gently into my lashes. I don't remember if I have the waterproof or non waterproof mascara on today. I usually wear the waterproof. So you just want to rub in a circular motion, go gentle. And and it just kind of wipes it off really easy. So if you're using a cleanser to remove your makeup, you're really just pushing all of this around on your face. And then your cleanser isn't able to do what it is meant to do. So step one in evening, you always want to make sure you remove your makeup. I actually had zero skincare routine. I am currently 41. When I turned 40, I started thinking about skincare. Um, and if you heard Diane say this morning, your skin starts aging at age 25. So I wish someone had told me, or if they did, I would have listened um, and started taking care of my skin. But it's never too late because of that Cineplex complex that Diane was posting about. Um, our products actually speed up cellular renewal and kind of reverse the signs of aging. All right, so makeup's off. Now I'm going to use my cleanser. I also 
Diane love this trick with the scrunchies on the wrists. I used to hate washing my face at the sink because the water just gets everywhere. Pull my hair back. So our cleansers are three in one. I use the normal to oily, but after watching Diane this morning, I might try the new dry line. So the normal to oily looks like this. It has a uh, flex of volcanic ash in there, which is going to help exfoliate your face. Um, you want to use lukewarm water to wash your face. I don't know if anyone's like me and was taught to, and I don't even know when, like magazine, I don't know what taught me, but it was like wash your face with scalding hot water and rinse it with cold water. I don't know why I thought that was a thing, but it is not. You want to use lukewarm water. So I just kind of wet my face. You need the tiniest amount. So nine months. This is my second bottle of cleanser. The first one lasted somewhere between five and six months. Um, so it really does last because you need such a small amount. It's so concentrated. So just a tiny amount. Now this cleanser, uh, you won't really see because it's pretty clear and you want to wash in a circular motion again and spend a little bit of time really getting it in there, uh, cleansing your face from the day. Your toner is in these cleansers and it will exfoliate, moisturize, whatever your specific type of cleanser based on your skin type is meant to do. So you want to make sure you get it in there really good. I love the smell of the normal to oily too, Diane. I don't know what it smells like, but it smells really good. So I also have always had very bad hormonal acne since my kids. Um, all along my jawline and my chin, I think a combination of just the hormones and I would always sit at work like this, which just put a ton of bacteria on my face. So you also wanna make sure you wash your hands before you wash your face, which I did before I got on. All right. So, I'm just gonna take a washcloth and wet it with lukewarm water. And again, you can't really see the cleanser, but it um, is very concentrated. So, I actually like to use like a more rough washcloth because it helps exfoliate uh, additional feels really good. So I just wipe it off really well and then give it one last rinse. The other thing I do that I'm going to throw in here because of that hormonal acne is this is our body wash and it works wonders on acne and hormonal acne. I think I have had two breakouts in nine months where I used to just constantly be broke out, especially once a month. Um, so I just use this once a day, right where I break out. And like I said, it has just done wonders. My kids also use the body wash um, on their face in the shower because they're both at that preteen, like 13, 11. Um, so, this bottle with all three of us using it on our face and my son also uses it on his arms. It helps get rid of those red bumps he gets. Um, it lasts, it, I actually just bought this new one. So about nine months with three of us using it. Now granted we weren't using it on our whole bodies but that still lasted a really long time. Okay, then what I do is actually take the dry side of my washcloth that's uh, still dry and just kind of pat my face because the other thing I was doing was just using whatever towel was in the bathroom. Well, there's my point. The towel is on the floor and so is the towel rack apparently. So even if your towel in the bathroom is there for just a day, it starts to grow bacteria. And if you have kids, you know how gross they can be. So I also stopped using that. And like I said, just use the clean, dry part of the washcloth that I just grabbed. Oh, I'll have to try that, Diane. I actually like using the body, the body scrub before I shave um, and get those dense dead skin cells off and then I shave and it's super soft, but I'll have to try then shaving with the body wash. 
Okay, so another great tip, um, and I think I saw it in one of the posts today, and it has been the number one tip that has helped me keep a routine because let's face it, we're all busy. If you have kids, it's insane. Tonight, for example, we drove on Wednesday and Friday, we drive an hour to soccer. Even though we asked before we left, do you have your spikes? We got about 50 minutes into the drive. We didn't have our spikes, so we just turned around and came home. So anyway, um, I, got, I got off track there. <laughs> so uh, the tip was do not wait until bedtime to do your evening routine. Because you're cleaning up dinner, you're getting the kids to bed. A million other things, you sit down on the couch. I don't know about you guys, I sit down on the couch and I fall asleep almost every night, just pass out on the couch. So what I do typically is once I'm done cleaning up dinner, I go right up to the bathroom, wash my hands, wash my face, do my evening routine, that way it's done. So um, no matter what I do the rest of the night, once I'm in, I just get it done. So what I just did there was, you saw Diane use this morning, the climate control and my sprayer wasn't working so this is what it looks like once it's activated i actually just activated it yesterday so i, sh I should have left it to show you it's a excuse me it's a dark blue liquid when you get it and you have to shake it to activate it so after your cleanser you want to pat on your climate control it feels so good it feels like really cooling almost like um, when you're in the sun and you put aloe on at night and this is hydration for your face so another thing i did not know was let me find my moisturizer hydration and moisture are two different things so you want to put something hydrating on your face which is our climate control and you want to lock it in with the moisturizer so that's two separate steps so that climate control is going to get down to the deepest layer and hydrate your skin and the moisturizer will um, lock in your evening skincare. So that's the climate control. I got to be careful not to do my advanced routine because I'm so used to it. This is my anti-wrinkle, which we just had a video on. Oh, and mine's empty. So it has that airless pump, not a drop left. Just to show you again that you're not going to waste anything. I was going to use that, but apparently I have to get a new one. Alright, so the next step in your basic routine would be your evening moisturizer. I love the normal to oily evening moisturizer. It feels completely different than your daytime moisturizer, and that's on purpose. Your evening moisturizer is going to be so much thicker and more concentrated. I'm sorry, I can't keep up with the comments. I, if I miss them, I will come back and answer them as soon as I'm done. Now this usually only lasts me about three months, but I use way more than I need to because I love it so much. So it is thicker. You're going to see, like when you're done putting it on, you'll see like a glazed look almost. Whereas your daytime moisturizer is going to um, absorb in and be much more lightweight for you to put your makeup on top. This has your highest concentration of that Cineplex complex. Because at night is when your skin does all of the hard work of turning over those skin cells um, and renewing and pushing all those dead skin cells to the surface. So this is going to help your skin do that and lock everything in extra tight. It does feel awesome. I, it's just like one of my favorite things. Um, I always say there's, I can't give up, you know, the climate control, but pretty much every product I love, but this feels amazing. So, you want to lock everything in with your evening moisturizer. And don't forget your neck. Jeez, oh, my bathroom is so small, my kids got stuff everywhere. So another thing I consider part of my e or basic, I can't open it because my hands are off, is our eye cream, um, which unfortunately we don't have samples of. 
looks like this in a little purple, a little purple, and it melts at skin temperature. So you just kind of drag your finger on it, and everybody needs an eye cream. So not only is this going to repair, it's also going to prevent future damage. When you're working under your eyes, you always want to use one of these last two fingers because the skin is so sensitive under your eyes, you want to use less pressure. So I load up with eye cream at night. Let's see. And Um, we saw in our video earlier today about the anti-wrinkle to rub the extra in the back of your hands. I always do that as well. The first place that ages is going to be under your eyes and the second place, your hands. I looked down at my hands uh, right around when I was turning 40 and I could not believe how aged they look. I thought, oh my gosh, these look like my grandmother's hands. Uh, so I rub all the extra product in there and then I also use this every night and usually every morning too, especially in the winter if you're somewhere where it's dry. This hand cream is amazing. The reason it's amazing is it reactivates with water throughout the day and when you rub your hands together. So I also use that as part of my basic skincare. So um, I took a couple notes here so I don't forget anything. Cause I'm not used to just doing basic. Okay, so that's that's all the basic products. Um, tomorrow, I believe we are going to have. It is the best hand cream. Um, it smells so good too. My daughter doesn't like it. It smell it smells like baby powder to me. She said it smells like I don't know what. She doesn't like it anyway. So my two biggest concerns when I started thinking about buying this skincare was. Why is it different? How does it work? And will it last? So um, you heard about the Cineplex Complex. Uh, another reason it works so well is molecular weight and that order matters. So you want to follow your beauty book um, until you get used to it. You really um, get the hang of it fast. I think the other morning I timed my whole morning routine, advanced the whole way through silk um, primer and pore minimizer, and it was like four minutes. And that included washing my face for a minute or two. So once you get the hang of it and establish that routine, you can really get through it pretty quickly. So that's the basic. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll go back and read them. I couldn't keep up with them uh, while I was doing that. And tomorrow, I believe we have some advanced routines and some other great videos. So I hope you enjoy. Congrats on making the decision to uh, improve or start a skincare routine. Don't forget, it, once you're 25, those skin cells, the turnover starts slowing down so much. So uh, don't, don't do what I did and wait till you're 40 to start, although it's never too late. Um, again, if you have any questions, let us know. Thanks so much for joining us and have a great night.